stop rec items view videos window items view list installing okay. nvda not select okay what i've done is i've set up a Run running application let's see this study exam okay what i've done is i've set up um, a test page for my catalog of publications. I've got two publications with some metadata associated with them and they're um, configured to show up in a grid using the view manager. And what I want to do is I want to try um, real quick to just navigate through these uh, using JAWS and NVDA both and also to do that in Chrome as well as Firefox. I'm going to just try and do it really rapidly and I'm not really going to um, provide a bunch of narrative. Uh, basically I'm going to hit each page and then I'm going to use a combination of the tab key and the arrow keys to try and um, get around the page and to um, download one of the PDFs and I'm going to try and do it real quick and make this a short video. So. I'm going to go ahead and start that now, and we're starting with NVDA in Finding a Chrome. Dev slow. Home panel test. Tray administration menu opened. Link skip to main content. Clickable toolbar items navigation landmark heading level 2 toolbar items. Clickable toggle button not pressed edit. Toggle button not pressed manage. Administration menu navigation landmark heading level 3 administration menu. Huh. Home lock site header banner landmark user account menu navigation landmark list with two items log out visited link. Okay, yeah, I, I didn't want to be logged in because I don't want to catch all those administrative menus. So uh, we're going to go again. Address here. and search bar edit has auto complete using the tab key. Home panel test document. Site header banner landmark user account menu navigation landmark list with one items login visited link. Home visited link home. Panel test visited link home. Main navigation navigation landmark list with one items home visited link. Main landmark finding aid accessibility visited link heading level 2. Finding aid accessibility.pdf link. Constant search. Constant search.pdf visited link. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I can tell right now that I would need some kind of indicator of uh, what these links are. I mean, uh, there's not enough information in the content. It's not really a screen reader problem. It's a problem of the way that I have labeled these links. So I wonder if I can try to NV, NVD exit notification NVDA okay, okay, no. and then start up JAWS and see what happens when we JAWS for Windows area. Home Vertical Bar Panel to dash Google Chrome. Okay. Address and search bar edit dev dash panel to dot Okay, and for both JAWS of them activation dialog. And for both of them I'm using the control key to uh, get the screen reader to stop talking. And I wish people had a control address key. and search bar edit dev dash panel to dot pan fiance site dot eo type and text okay we're just going to use tab again to see what we get skip the main content same page link page site header banner region user account menu navigation region login link home link graphic panel to link home main navigation navigation region home link main region article region finding aid accessibility heading level 2 link visited Article region finding aid accessibility dot PDF link constant search dot 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 heading level two link visited article region constant search dot PDF link subscribe to link okay so I was using the tab key so that means that all I was going to do was go from link to link but the difference in the verbosity between NVDA and JAWS I think that this time around in Chrome under JAWS uh, it just automatically gave me a little more context for what the links were. Uh, I could tell that I was within an article and that the links were styled as H2 so 
I could tell that uh, they were some some kind of a heading or something. So let's switch over to Firefox and go to my Home panel test and uh, let's let's quit Jaws. Taskbar actions list box jo Jaws profe Jaws context menu application Home vertical bar pan and let's see if we can get NVDA cranked up again. I need to put a short. Okay, that's good. Home panel test Mozilla Firefox. Okay, so, navigation. So we'll just tab through there and see. Uh, this is Firefox. Let's we'll see what, if we get more information or less information than in Chrome. And I haven't done this before, so I don't know what it's going to do. So, um, tab key. Home panel test. Site header banner landmark user account menu navigation landmark list with one items login list. Home graphic visited link. Panel test visited link home. Main navigation navigation landmark list with one items home. Main landmark finding aid accessibility link heading level 2. Finding aid accessibility.pdf link. Constant search. Link heading level 2. Constant search.pdf visited link. Okay, so in. NV exit. So notification. Oh, oh, null. So under Firefox, I was getting more context information from these links in the headers of the um, content tiles, I guess you would call it, in this grid here. Under Firefox, I got more information. So let's see what happens with JAWS. JAWS for Windows, home vertical bar panel, address and search bar edit. Skip the main content, same, site header, banner region, user account, menu, navigation, home link, graphic, JAWS activation, dialog, this, site head, panel test link, main navigation, navigation, main region, article region, finding aid accessibility, heading level 2, link visited, article region, finding aid accessibility, dot pdf link, constant search, dot dot dot, heading level 2, link visited, article region, constant search, dot pdf link, Okay, uh, we were pretty consistent. Action with JAWS dialog. Main region, article. So, using NVDA, using JAWS under Chrome and under Firefox, I feel like JAWS was more consistent between the two browsers. Uh, and I feel that, um, other than the context, I think navigating through the links with either was adequate. And I think that if um, I dug around in the NVDA interface, I would probably find a um, setting that would possibly give me more information. So that's kind of like a little quick compare and contrast between uh, two different screen readers and two different browsers and it's also a good check for the content catalog that I intend to build as part of this course. So thanks for watching.